Welcome everyone. We're lucky to be joined today by Actuarial and Financial Studies final year student George Harding. George is going to answer a couple of questions about why he decided to choose the course and a little bit about his future career plans. Thank you for joining us today, George. Thanks, Gary. George, so just to start, would you be able to tell us a little bit about why you decided to study actuarial and financial studies at UCD? Yeah, so I guess back when I was in, in Leaving Cert, I kind of didn't really know what I wanted to do. You know, I, I was quite good at maths. I liked maths, I liked accounting. So I was kind of aiming towards the finance area, but no real idea of you know what career I specifically wanted. And then my career guidance teacher kind of had suggested actuary, so I looked into it and sort of realized that even though, yes, you could go on and become an actuary, there was a lot of options that if I didn't like actuary, I could still work in any of the sort of finance sector. So I think then when I saw how good the course was when it came to the open day and I really liked UCD, it was sort of the incentive to come up here. That's brilliant, George. And what was the transition like from studying maths in the leave insert compared to what you now do in UCD? Um, it's it's actually not too bad. And that's the one thing that I've, I, I always get asked at, you know, open days is how hard is it? I remember on my first day, you know, I went into, I think it was one of the modeling ones. And I was like, what have I got myself into here? This seems impossible. But once you actually get into it, you realize it's not too bad. Um, you know, th there's a lot of sort of sometimes the lectures give you a bit more depth for your own understanding. But when you sort of take a step back and look at it, it's not that much more difficult. Um, and definitely, as we went on, then into the other different modules, a lot of the stuff was actually quite similar to what we'd done at Leave Insert, and it was just slightly followed on then, slightly advanced, definitely for first year. So it's a good course then for someone who loves maths in the Leave Insert and just wants to do more maths, basically. Yeah, I, I guess um, if, if you're a big fan of maths, I, I would say you'd probably maybe like to have an interest in finance as well, because it, it doesn't get into the pure math side that, you know, maybe just the maths degree would. But if, if you're the interest in finance or account, now not saying, you know, it's not a prerequisite that you need to have done accounting or anything like that. But just if you do have that interest, it's, it's probably more suited for you. Yeah, it's a good blend of, of all those options. And then if anyone was finding the transition difficult, are, are there any supports available, like any help that they could get if they were struggling with a module? Yeah, that's kind of a, quite a usual question we have. And I think your, your first support of call here always has to be your lecturer and your tutor because they are actually, you know, they are there to help you. It, it might seem scary if you're in a lecture with 400 other people or whatever that you, you don't want to go down and talk to them. But the lecturer really wants to help you and, and make life easier for you. So you can definitely go to them. And then even if that doesn't maybe, you know, get you your answer, or you're, you're still struggling a bit, there's the math support center. So there, that's a drop-in center where if you have any issues or things that you're struggling to understand um, into different topics of maths, you can walk in there and there's tutors there who will sit down and help you and work, work through it with you. That's brilliant, George. And for the people watching who might be good at maths or have an interest in, in finance, are you able to tell them a little bit about what topics you study and some of your your favorite parts of the course so far your yeah. favorite is the course. <laughs> favorite yeah i'm not sure about that one but we'll see yeah so it's quite broad like as i said in first year it, it's it's really much getting you the basics so you'll do sort of you do calculus statistics a little bit of programming there's finance economics um accounting so all the basics across sort of just bringing you up to that level slightly above leave insert and then as you go through the years you sort of advance on and use what you've learned so you're on to your Sort of more your financial maths, your information systems, um, more more accounting, financial and actuarial maths and actuarial statistics. So it's sort of all just you use those tools as you step along to kind of delve into more knowledge of what the maths you need if you do be go go on to become an actuary. I suppose my favorite part, um, I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> sometimes you know when you, when you're stuck into the modules and the assignments come flying in, you kind of. Don't Might ask you after the exams, maybe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But uh, no, I think I think I have to say I do quite like some of the financial math, uh, financial actuarials maths. So I guess it's sort of more you're looking to um, value the cash flows that an insurance company might have under different policies. So it's actually work that you would sort of be working towards in, in a job afterwards. That's brilliant, George. And we're just going to record a, another video where we'll talk a little bit more about the career is available. If you did want to look a little bit more detail about the modules that George is talking about, I'll put a link under the video on YouTube to where you can look at our brochure and get a look at the different topics that are covered.